This is the Washington Times front page for Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The front page is brought to you by American Hartford Gold. Their gold IRA strategy can shield your wealth from an economic meltdown and is both tax and penalty free. Call 866-525-4680 for more or text TWT to 65532. Republicans tried but failed to elect a new Speaker of the House, leaving the chamber on the verge of a third week in limbo. Kerry Pickett, Susan Fariccio, and Alex Miller report Ohio Representative Jim Jordan came up 17 votes short in a House floor vote Tuesday afternoon and couldn't flip enough holdouts to secure the gavel. A second vote is tentatively planned for Wednesday morning. Jordan held out hope for victory on a subsequent round of voting, telling reporters he's having great conversations and great discussions with his fellow Republicans. Israel has ramped up airstrikes against Hamas targets in Gaza and warned that any Hezbollah fighters approaching the northern border with Lebanon will be killed. Ben Wolfgang and Seth McLaughlin report an explosion at a hospital in Gaza reportedly killed more than 500 people. Hamas blamed the blast on an Israeli airstrike, but Israeli military officials said the explosion was caused by a misfired rocket from Hamas. The blast had threatened to derail President Biden's trip to the region, as a scheduled summit in Jordan was abruptly canceled after several Arab leaders pulled out of the meeting after the hospital strike. Gaza is home to more than 2 million Palestinians. International aid groups say roughly half have been displaced in the days since Israel launched its fierce counterattack against Hamas. Hamas's terrorist attack on October 7th killed more than 1,400 Israelis and at least 27 Americans. The front page is brought to you by American Hartford Gold. When you look at the news today, all you see is a financial landscape that's growing more and more dangerous, especially for your retirement funds. Stubborn inflation, soaring interest rates, and astronomical debt could drain their value. The good news is that there's a strategy that can protect your financial future. It's the Gold IRA from American Hartford Gold. This Gold IRA strategy can shield your wealth from an economic meltdown and is both tax and penalty-free. American Hartford Gold has earned a five-star rating from thousands of reviews and an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Mention the front page podcast and they'll give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Call 866-525-4680 or text TWT to 65532. That's 866-525-4680 or text TWT to 65532. Two congressional Republicans are demanding assurances that Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas won't attempt a repeat of the Afghanistan airlift with Palestinians seeking to flee the war between Israel and Hamas. Stephen Diner reports Congressman Tom Tiffany of Wisconsin and Andrew Ogles of Tennessee fear Mayorkas will face pressure to use his parole powers to open the U.S. to fleeing Palestinians. The two were particularly troubled that the White House, when asked about plans, said the administration doesn't envision a program for Palestinians at this time. They say Mayorkas must deliver an unequivocal statement, ruling it out. And finally, Japan and India are poised to rise as manufacturing hubs as the worldwide semiconductor landscape undergoes massive expansion and geopolitical shifts. Andrew Salmon reports Japan has announced its return to manufacturing via conglomerate Rapidus, whose investors include Japanese flagship companies NEC, Sony, and Toyota. More than a quarter of the chip manufacturing plants coming online through 2026 are in China, which already supplies 50 to 60 percent of the world market for low-end chips. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. 